The essence of Tibet in Nigeria cannot be underestimated. And that is why the Salesians have decided to establish a Tibet center here in Kubwa, FCT Abuja. And I tell you, for a number of days, we have gathered to deliberate on the best way to get this done. So, the Lord will guard you going and coming, both now and forever. Uh, help is from the Lord. Through the spirit of your son, you formed us into a spiritual house where you make your dwelling place. Let us bless the Lord. Blessed be God forever. Shower of God's blessing, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. We are very happy that today we commence a long-awaited project. The objective for this project is to enhance, to empower young people, less privileged people with life skills and to equip them with technical skills so that they can be very useful for the society to prepare them for the future. So it took time to prepare a project, look for donors, and today we are very grateful to God that with cooperation with German government and Don Bosco Mondo and our province, we can commence this project. The expectation of uh, the province and of our donors is only one, that the project will be implemented, will be executed, so that those young people who will come, they will really encounter God, they will encounter Salesians and they will encounter here good knowledge and they can later implement and transmit. So we hope and we pray first of all that the contractors, those who were entrusted with this work, they will do a good job, a quality job, they will deliver everything within the time frame work and all of us will be happy. So we pray for this and we entrust everything to the help of Christians. We, as Don Bosco Mondo, have been working with the Salesians all over the world for more than 40 years now. And we've noticed that in a lot of countries, they have a very, very good reputation and are seen as experts in the work of youth with youth at risk and in the field of education, especially vocational training. In this context, we also work a lot with the Salesians to collaborate. Also here now in Kupua, where we can start a big, big project with the generous funding of the BNZ. This money gives us the opportunity to actually construct and equip a quite big vocational training center, which has a lot standard and also relates with the labor market, which means that the youth we want to target, the marginalized youth, have really, really a chance to learn uh, according to modern standards, so afterwards they find a job or get self-employed. But it's not only about learning the hands-on learning, but also about life skills, so they know how to work disciplinedly, so not to give up, to work for what they want to achieve, and with this they are able actually to create their own future, to sustain themselves and their family. And all with that, they also can actually grow grow as a person, but also grow as a society and help the society to become at risk to this moment. Today we did the groundbreaking of the project we are beginning here. And uh, it is to help uh, our young people who are without uh, education. And when we have the technical education, it will enable them to learn a trade which will, uh, you know, help them to be able to find a, a means of a living 
especially when they have learned trade, they will be able to get some jobs or even to be self-reliant. You know what happens in our country now? There are millions of young people without jobs, a lot of them with certificates, but they cannot find jobs. So this kind of technical education we are beginning here will uh, enable them to be able to be self-reliant and be able to live their life fully. Special thanks to the BMZ, the German government, to Don Bosco Mondo, our partners, to the solutions of Don Bosco uh, for this wonderful initiative for the young people, and to all our collaborators, those who made it possible for us to begin this project.